Hi, my friends, and welcome to Storytime with Mrs. A. Today, we're talking all about spring. And you know what the best part about spring is all of the cute little animals that are born and they get to explore the world for the first time. And today, we're going to be reading a story all about baby bunnies. And I'm so excited because they are so cute. Just wait till you see the pictures. This story is called I Love You, My Bunnies. And it's a Disney story. So let's dive right in. Spring had finally arrived in the forest. Butterflies flitted from flower to flower, and robins sang cheerfully in the trees. Twitter tweet, twitter tweet. The bunny's day began just the same as always, with a soft, cozy nuzzle and a filling of bunny tummies. A tickly, warm wash and a big, strong hug. Soon, the bunnies hopped off to play. Mama does so much for us, Thumper said. Let's make her a basket. Thumper's sisters were excited. They all hopped to it. Rustle, rustle. Trixie and Daisy searched for twigs up high. Rustle, snap. Rhea and Tessie looked down low. Rustle, twitter, tweet. Thumper tugged at a nest by mistake. <gasps> Oh, sorry, he cried. Scritch, scratch. The bunnies wove the twigs together. Nearby, the chipmunks chittered cheerfully, but the five little bunnies did not hear them. They were making a basket as strong as their love. Isn't that so cute? They're all working together to make a basket. The basket was sturdy, but it needed something more. Flowers! Daisy cried. Sniff, sniff, pluck. The bunnies picked buttercups and daisies and lilies. Lily Tessie even found some pink clover. The meadow larks chirped in the trees above, but the five little bunnies did not hear them. They were making the basket beautiful for their mama. The basket was lovely, but it needed something more. Trixie hopped off. Soon she returned with a plump blackberry. Rhea smiled. Mama loves berries, she said. Pluck, pluck, mmm. The berries were juicy and ripe, perfect for bunny tummies. Bzz, bzz, bzz. Bees buzzed amid the brambly patch, but the five little bunnies did not hear. They were filling the basket with sweetness for their mama. At last, they were done. The bunnies took the basket, that strong, beautiful, sweet basket, home to their mama. And their mama gave them something strong, beautiful, and sweet right back. A big hug. Oh, it's so cute. The frogs hopped by them, the trees rustled around them, and the birds sang above them. But the five little bunnies did not hear. They snuggled in close. We love you, Mama, they said. And I love you, my bunnies, their mama replied. So what do you guys think of that story? It was super cute, huh? Just like I said it was going to be. You know, my favorite part about it is that the bunnies, they just went out into their backyard and gathered a whole bunch of items that they thought were beautiful and put it together to give a gift. And you know what? You don't have to go out to a fancy store in order to buy things in order to make a gift. You can just go out into your neighborhood or even gather things from around your house. And you know what? Your parents are going to love those gifts that you make for them because they came from your heart. And that's what matters. Thank you for reading with me, guys. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.